Hey, little buddy. Are you ready to draw today? Not really. I don't have anything to draw with. Here, just use a pencil. By request from one of our drawers, today we're going to be doing... It's -a me, a Mario! From Mario. Mario, Mario. Not sure. No, I guess it's Mario. Okay, get your pencils and papers. Get your erasers too, because this one's not that easy. I think we might just focus on the head today, because there's a lot of parts with it. Um, we can do the body too, if kids want. Okay, the first thing we need to do is Mario's nose, which is a big oval. You can see it's a little wider than it is tall. Then we're going to start the mustache. So on the middle of the side, we're going to bring up a line that curves upward. It's a curved line that curves upward. And it goes out of almost the length of how big your oval is. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Middle, curve outward. Try to make it symmetrical. You can see this one's a little higher. Remember, symmetry means both sides are the same. So we're trying to keep it symmetrical by keeping both sides the same. Now we're gonna do a line that connects from here to here, and it's gonna go right under the nose, except it's gonna have bumps on it, okay? And there's not gonna be a billion bumps. There's probably gonna be about five or six. We're gonna do it nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm gonna shade mine in. You might not wanna do that. If you have crayons at home, this part would be black. He has a black mustache, because he's Italian. Maybe he's from uh, Sicily, Sicily, which is a southern, I believe. Might be wrong about that. Little mouth, almost hidden by that mustache. And then the bottom lip, we're gonna do one line for that. A little more curved, okay? Now we're gonna start the bottom lines for the eyes. They're gonna come off of the nose as well. Two shorter lines coming right off the top of that nose. Again, we're keeping it symmetrical. Both sides are the same. Now we're gonna do some letter U's, right? The letter U, but we're gonna do it upside down for the tops of the eyes. Try to keep them symmetrical. Uh-oh, don't lose your focus there, camera. Okay, right. Now we can do the insides of the eyes. We can do uh, Letter C, backwards letter C, like that. Kind of coming into the eye there. And then a regular letter C. Keeping the size the same. We can do another one inside. You can shade that one in. Another one inside, shade it in. Eyebrow lines. Little rainbows up above the eyes. Goop. And then we're going to add another layer to those. So we're gonna do from point A to point B, another rainbow line that goes up a little higher. And then we can color those in as well. And these would also be black if you're using colors, but I only have the color blue. Okay, now his hat, if you can believe it, his hat goes behind his eyebrows, which is totally ridiculous. So we're gonna start out past where the, uh, the mustache is, and we're gonna do a slightly curved line. It's gonna go behind the eyebrow, between the eyebrows, and about past this side, keeping both sides symmetrical, both sides the same. And I can go straight down you can see I'm almost gonna touch that mustache, but I don't wanna bump into it. I'm almost gonna touch that mustache, but I don't wanna bump into it. You can see I made this line longer than this line by accident. 
that's not symmetrical, so I want to fix it a little bit. There we go, that looks better. Now these two lines are going to be the beginning of his huge sideburns. So we're gonna go next to those lines on the inside. Draw another line parallel to that line, going right along with it. And those are gonna be his sideburns. Now his cheeks come out, kind of rounded, and they follow along that mustache, and they come down to a little chin. This is probably the trickiest line in Mario's face, so I would do it very lightly if you're lucky enough to have a pencil. That way, if you mess up, it's easy to erase. And I probably will mess up a little bit. So we come out with the cheek, coming down, little chin. Oops. Cheeks. Yeah, see, I did mess up. Mine is not very well symmetrical. I would like to fix this line, but since I did it in marker, I'm gonna keep going. Ears, again with the letter C. We'll do a backwards letter C here. See how it's connected. And we'll do a regular letter C over here. You see they're lined up with the eyes. And then they add a little detail, a little line up here, a little line there, a little line here, a little line there. Man, this is really bugging me. Let's see if I can... Maybe I could turn this into a sort of a shadow. See if I can fix my mistake. Maybe he's got like a shadow. if you have a mistake instead of erasing it you can just find a solution to fix it and you end up having something cooler that you wouldn't have had that you wouldn't have even thought of before all right let's go back to the hat we need to do the brim of the hat so there's gonna be a line that goes right above this line but it's gonna be a little more curved and it's gonna have a little curly cue on both ends but what does that mean I'll show you Now we need to do the top of the hat. Let me bring this down a little bit so you can see. This hat is shockingly high. Let me bring it down even more. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little dot so that I know where the tip top of the hat should go because we don't want it to go off center. We want it to be right in the middle. So I'm gonna bring, start in the middle of the face, and we're gonna go up about this high maybe. It seems very high, but when I finish it, It'll look correct, close to correct. So now I marked where the middle is. So when I draw the line for the top of the hat, it won't be lopsided. That'll be the, the furthest up point that the hat will go. And we're gonna start the line right where the ear meets the sideburn there, where the ear meets the head. We're gonna go right then we're gonna end here. This is probably the second hardest line to do. So do it lightly. Alright, see if I mess up. Nice and slow. At that point. All the way over. Okay, and I end it right between the top of the ear and the side of the head here. Okay, now we just need to do the letter M symbol on his hat. I'm gonna start with the M and then we'll put the circle around it so that we make sure it fits in. Again, we want it to be right in the middle, so I'm going to put a dot right in the middle of there. And that's going to be the middle of the M, okay? So maybe we'll do a little letter V here, coming off of that dot, and then I can put a line going down on both sides. There's my M, M for Mario. Um, we want to make it three-dimensional. Two little feet, we can bring that up, goink, goink. These lines go higher than the original M, and then another letter V up here. Color that in. Now we'll just do a nice oval around that. Okay, I'm gonna add some shoulders. 
just to make my shadow that I ended up creating have something to cast a shadow onto. He has his long letter U's for his um, overall buckles. There's a button. That's Mario. Again, post yours if you'd like to. Leave comments if you'd like. I take requests. Remember this Mario was a request. You guys are the best. I miss you. Keep up the good work. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Well, little guy, how did yours turn out? <laughs>